The Minnesota Supreme Court is just hours away from making history as Natalie Hudson is set to be sworn in as the first person of color to be named Chief Justice. Our Pauline Lee joins us with a look ahead to this history making moment. Pauline. It's a big day. I mean, in three hours or so, she will officially oversee the entire judicial branch in Minnesota. We're talking about a third of our state government, and those who know her well say she is more than qualified for the job. She becomes the 22nd Chief Justice in Minnesota history. Just the third woman to serve in the role and, of course, as we've mentioned, the first person of color. She served as a judge on the Minnesota Court of Appeals for more than a decade and first joined the state Supreme Court as an associate justice in 2015. Abu Amara, a Minneapolis attorney, many of you know him as a contributor here on WCCO. He also clerked at the Minnesota Supreme Court and worked alongside her. He describes Justice Hudson as meticulous, very detail-oriented, in addition to being incredibly smart. He says all of those skills and more will serve her well in her new role. It's going to take a lot of work, a lot of relationships, a, a lot of passion to get it right. And I think she, knowing her, uh, she has exactly those skill sets that you're going to want in a chief justice. And so I, I have very much, very, a lot of confidence in her abilities to make sure Minnesota's judiciary keeps moving in the right direction. Now, she won't be the only one making history this afternoon. Carl Procaccini will be sworn in as an associate justice of the Minnesota Supreme Court. He becomes the first Muslim to sit on the court. So again, 3 o'clock this afternoon is when they take their oath of office. It's going to happen at the Minnesota History Center in St. Paul. So be sure to keep it here to WCCO, both on air and online. And we'll have continuing coverage throughout the day. All right, a big day. And we'll keep you posted on all those developments. Thanks so much, Pauline.